It was not pretty by any means. The Golden Bear defense gave Oregon all it could handle, but the Ducks overcome miscues, misfortune, and injury to go to 10-0. In Corvallis, every Cougar has his day, and Jeff Toole had a day against Oregon State as the Beavers are reeling heading down the home stretch. The Cardinal had its hands full in Tempe, but the Devils were once again the recipient of some hard luck. And in Tucson, the Trojans storm into Arizona in a battle of top QBs. It's USC with lots of bark and plenty of bite. It's the final three weeks of the season and things are starting to get chippy. This mid-November edition of Inside the Pack starts right now. is Harris all the way back to his 38-yard line. We got some holding here that they just didn't call. He breaks up the left sideline. He's going to go for the touchdown. He's all the way to the five and into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon Ducks. 64-yard return. Oregon gets just enough offense against the Pac-10's number one D and is indeed 10-0 for the first time ever. As we crank it up this week, let's go right to the AP Top 10. And Oregon clinging to that number one ranking, lost 11 first place votes this week, and the overall points lead over Auburn cut roughly in half. Boise State jumps TCU for third, although the Horn Frogs still getting that one first place vote. Stanford holding at number seven. Hello and welcome to another edition of Inside the Pack. Tom Ward here with you for the next 30 minutes. Joined, as always, by Nick Krupke and our special guest this week, former Oregon State tight end, Tim Ewis. Tim, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me on again. Always a fun trip up here. Well, good. Uh, as we've heard in the securities business, past performance does not necessarily guarantee future results. And I think that kind of applies to the entire weekend as Oregon survived in California. But then Oregon State, who could have seen what happened in Corvallis coming after the Cougars had lost 16 straight packed in games? Not a pretty one in Corvallis. And, uh, you know, it's a what have you done for me lately deal. And... And a Beavers have to bring their A game the next couple weeks. Uh, three tough ball games. Well, over this season, the problems on third down on both sides of the ball have kind of been documented with Oregon State. But Jeff Tool led that offense 10 of 17 on third down against the Beaver defense. And he, re he really, for most of the day, was the best player on the field. Uh, when you're above 50% on third down, that is really difficult for the day. He makes a big play scoring the touchdown, comes back in the second half, does more of it carrying the ball. Tough player. Well, Nick, switching to Oregon, we heard Cal linebacker Mike Muhammad last week say that this was the Bears' BCS Bowl game, and really they came out and brought it against the Ducks. Yeah, and they know they have a very good defense, and they were a team that really had a different look on defense against that Oregon offense, kind of had seven guys in the box, kind of went man on, up on the uh, receivers out there. Certainly worked. Didn't get a chance to uh, really make a whole lot of adjustments. A little bit of a change in the fourth quarter, especially on that final drive, called a championship drive, or any of these teams that want to get to a perfect season. Got to have something like that. You look back last year, of course, the Arizona game on that final drive. This one, you don't score. They probably could have if they had to, but you don't. Nine minutes, 25 seconds, 18 plays really just killed any momentum or any chance that Cal had to get that ball back. Yeah, they still had well over a minute. I think if they had needed to score, they would have uh, one down note coming out of this. LaMichael James walks out on crutches and a boot on that left ankle after this game. Didn't want to talk about it, but uh, safe to say the Ducks with that bye week now as they get ready to host Arizona. Now two weeks to get healthy, refreshed, and maybe refresh that offense a little bit as well. Let's get the show going. And since getting that elusive win at the L.A. Coliseum a couple of weeks earlier, Memorial Stadium in Berkeley stood as the last remaining conference venue where a drought remained for Oregon. The last win coming there in 2001. Oregon with its last regular season road game outside the state in Strawberry Canyon. Junior Brock Mansion against sophomore Darren Thomas of the Ducks. And for the second straight week, Oregon was held scoreless in the first quarter. And Shane Vereen goes in from a yard out to make it 7-0 Bears. In the second quarter, Cliff Harris specializes in home delivery. Cliffy takes the Brian Anger punt and goes to work. Goes 64 yards to the house, his fourth punt return for a score on the season. That ties the Pac-10 record, another two-point conversion, makes it 8-7 Oregon. But just before the half, Rob Beard, the field goal attempt from 37 yards out is no good, so it's 8-7 at the break. Oregon's lowest first half score this year. Third quarter, the Oregon D comes through in a big way. Shane Vereen running over the right side, stripped of the football, a scrum for the loose ball ensues. Eventually, the Ducks recover, and it's Kenny Rowe who comes up with it. Next play, the offense cashes in. Darren Thomas 
He's got Mayo, Jeff Mayo, 29 yard connection. Mayo, five balls for 84 yards and the lone TD. Make it 15 7 Oregon. Still in the third, Cal's defense makes a play. Pin deep, Thomas hit and the ball is picked out of his hand by Derrick Hill and the Bears recover it in the end zone for the touchdown. 15 13 as Cal went for two and didn't get it. But let's flash back for a second. That pick out of the hand, not something you see every day. October 28, 1995. Oregon's Tony Graziani has it taken out of his hand by Mike Langridge. He goes back 32 yards for the score. ASU won the game 35-24, dealt Oregon a huge blow in that season. So would this derail Oregon's perfect season? Fourth quarter, Bears go for the lead with a field goal, but Giorgio Tavecchio makes it from 24 yards out, but you saw the stutter step. That's a flag for illegal motion. Back him up five yards, he's got to do it again, and wouldn't you know it this time, he pulls it wide right, Oregon keeps its 15-13 lead. After trading possessions, the Ducks then took over with nine minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock and talking about grinding one out. Oregon converted on four third downs to drain the clock and preserve victory number 10 as they celebrate in Memorial Stadium 15-13. The Ducks are now one win removed from clinching back-to-back Pac-10 titles. The sixth 10 win season in program history. Certainly an off day offensively with only one touchdown and a season low of 317 total yards. Yeah, that's all right though. When your defense gives up only 193, 69 yards passing as they sacked Manchin twice and shut down Cal on third down, just four of 13. Two weeks straight now, where Oregon hasn't played its best game. Lowest point total, lowest yard total too, but a win is a win. No matter how you get it, the usually reliable run game was stagnant for most of the contest as James never really got going and bottled up for a season low 91 yards stuffed there on fourth and two in the first. Usually automatic on fourth down, they were only four of six, eight of 21 on third. Then second quarter trying to go for that option that didn't work either against the 12th ranked defense in the country. Third quarter, nowhere to go again against that stout front seven of Cal. They all said that was probably the best front line they've seen all season. They averaged less than two yards per carry. And we've seen earlier times this year they got six, seven yards per carry. Didn't see that there. Then on the monster 18 play, real championship drive, squeezing the necks of the Bears as Kenyon Barner came in to spell James, his second game back from concussion. It's got to be that best backup in the country right now. Eight carries, 40 yards for Barner, getting six of those on the 18 plays on the final drive there. Defense they hadn't quite seen before. Likely will certainly see again. Got a chance now with a bye week to kind of a recoup a little bit and say how do we kind of uh, go against and attack that again kind of make some changes get that bye week again a great time as Michael James you mentioned it in a boot and on crutches after the game didn't want to get into it as Oregon never wants to get into the injury situations he day certainly day. he is day to day that's right uh, he joked around and said he jumped up and down after the win and pulled his hamstring do you believe that or not but he certainly uh, got a chance here now to rest up well the Bears showed how you stop Oregon with gap deep gap control defense uh, they have two weeks now as Arizona comes here, Arizona can look at the tape. Oregon can now maybe go back and refresh its offense, but uh, two weeks now to get ready for Arizona and two games to go for Oregon.